<laughs> yeah. Bismillah. So, alhamdulillah, we've done extensive work now on nouns um, and their different versions. So, um, uh, sorry, on the different versions of the kalima. So, uh, the alimat of harf, of fi'il, and of nouns. And we've covered nouns in more detail than everything else so far. Um, so we are starting to move on to our next venture and starting to move into the world of verbs. Alhamdulillah, once you get through this um, hurdle or this challenge, then Arabic becomes um, amazing. <laughs> once this, is, this, is a, this is a very nice hurdle to pass through. Inshallah. Um, and uh, in terms of reading the Quran, the stories become a lot more clear. This is very hard to understand with just uh, nouns. Um, nouns don't give that much information, but when actions come in, um, the, the stories in the Quran become very uh, understandable even if your vocab is not that strong. So alhamdulillah. Um, bismillah. Lesson 21. We have studied nominal sentences, Jumlat al-Ismiya alia and its components, such as mubtada and khabar. Uh, and now it's time for the main components of the verbal sentence, Jumlat al And this is where in your notebooks, you should have a big title saying, Jumlat al verbal sentences, and its three components. Three components being the fi'il, the fa'il, and the maf'ul. And we're gonna, we are going to cover them in more detail um, in the future, in the short future, inshallah. Um, going back to our earlier lessons, we showed that generally there's two categories when it comes to ver verbs. You have madi uh, here. You have madi, which is the past tense, and you have mudari, which is the present and future tense. So mudari kind of covers both of them. Now, when it comes to verbs, the the Arabic system uses a tri-lettered system. So the root verbs uh, have three components or three letters, uh, as you. Can see in the examples the base the uh, the base verb or the root verb and um, the examples here kafara shakara fa'ala um he disbelieved he doubted uh, sorry he he was thankful and he did we've seen this before um but we're going to go over it again the first letter and the last letter are constant. So the fa kalima, kalima letter, is always a fatha, and the lam is always a fatha. These are constant, uh, constant. they don't change. It's the ayin kalima, the middle letter, is the one that varies. And it can either be a dhamma, a fatha, or a kasra. Um, and it can't be a sukun. So we covered that in the revision classes recently. Um, these are the only things that you will see in the base root form of the verb. Okay. Gustav Hamza, would you mind just zooming in a little bit, please? Yeah. Sure. Is that correct? That's better. So, uh, as you can see with the ayin kalima in, in the middle, you can have fata, dhamma, or kasra. These are the variations. Okay. So, the three components. Um, actually, before the three components, even even before the three components, what consists, what makes a jumlat al Um The thing that makes a jumlat al is having a noun at the beginning of the sentence. Likewise, the to have a jumlat al is simply to have a verb at the beginning of the sentence. That's just, that, that's it. So any any sentence that you see, if there's a verb at the beginning, okay, this is a jumlat al and we have to treat it like such. And if there's a noun in the beginning, we treat it like such. 
So we don't use the same system of Mubtada and Khabar. That's gone now in Jumlat al-Fi'liya. Jumlat al-Fi'liya has its own system, which we will cover. So the first is the action, the fi'l, the three components. The first is the verb. Uh, and sentences that starts with a verb is Jumlat al-Fi'liya. Then we have the fa'il, the fa'il. This is the one who does the action. It's also the subject. So it's it's kind of takes the role as the mubtada. It's similar to the mubtada, but it's essentially the one who does the action. So if we were to say uh, uh, say we um, in the example here we have qatala. The fa'il is the one who did the killing, the one who killed the other person. Now the fa'il, the subject or the doer, can be hidden internal or it can be external it has two variations and we will cover that in more detail uh, later on but the important thing is uh, and there's something that you do have to remember there's a external and uh, internal fa'il uh, dua um, but the, at the moment it's just the fa'il is the dua it is the person who does the action and then you have the maf'ul the last one, maf'ul. And this is the thing that is being done to you. So in this example, qatala Dawood or Jaluta. Dawood is the one that is killing Jalut. So Jalut is the maf'ul. He is the one that is being affected. He is the one that's being affected by the action. Um... The maf'ul doesn't always have to be there. So in English, you have transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. You have the same thing in Arabic. So for example, if I say uh, Dawood killed, it doesn't really make sense by itself, just Dawood killed. You have to have something at the end of that sentence for it to give meaning. Dawood killed, Jalut. But there's other verbs that you don't need an extra word at the end. You don't need a maf'ul. For example, um, he sat. If someone sits, he, he, that that has a complete meaning. It doesn't need an extra maf'ul. So sometimes there's a maf'ul and sometimes there isn't. And we'll, again, all, of, all three of these will go into more detail. But at the moment, your notebook should read Jumlat al fi'liya, fi'l, fa'il, and maf'ul. With the Arabic and with the English translation, inshallah. So, the fa'il. Shariba Zaydun al Kahwa. Zayd drank the coffee. So, the fa'il is the one who committed the action. So in this case, it would be Zaid. Zaid is the one who drank the coffee. He did the action. He is the subject of the sentence. He is the doer of the of the sentence. Um, and that is the fa'il. The fa'il can be hidden or external. Later on, we are going to go into this in more detail. But for now, what you have to remember is you can only have an external fa'il when you have a hua or a hiya. So when the subject is a hua or a hiya, then you have an external file. This, again, uh, we will get to it later. As long as you remember this, that it's on external files are only with hua and hiya, then you're good for this page. That's, that's, all, that's all you need to know for that at the moment. Um, and the irab of the external file is always marfu. So these are this these two examples here. Qatala Dawudu Jaluta and Shariba Zaidul Zaidun al Kahwa. Zaid and Dawood are external files and they're both in the marfu state. The the marfu. They have a Dhamma at the end of their name. Similar to the Muqtada, the Muqtada is in the Marfu state of a Jumlat al Ismiya. Okay, the Maf'ul. 
Maf'ul gives more details about the verb, i.e. The, the person who receives the action or the person who is affected by the action. So it gives more details about the one who is affected by the action. There are different types of maf'ul. Uh, one of them, one of the main ones, maf'ul bihi. There's maf'ul fihi and there's others. But at the moment, the main one we want to cover is maf'ul bihi. And this answers the question, what or who? What or who? Now, unlike the fa'il, the maf'ul is always in the mansub state. It's a fatha. So again, looking at this example, قَتَلَ دَاوُودُ جَالُوتَ جَالُوت There shouldn't be a double fatha here. I think that's a mistake. Jaluta uh, it ends in a fatha. So maf'ul, the one being affected, affected ends in a fatha. It's in the mansub state. And this is how we tell, this is how we can tell who did the action? So we have two names here, Dawood and Jalut. Which one is in the marful state and which one is in the mansub state? That tells us who did the action. Because in Arabic, you don't always have to follow the order like in English. In English, we have subject, verb, object. In Arabic, it can change. The order doesn't necessarily tell which one is the subject, which one is the object. The way we understand it is through the status, the Dhamma or the Fatta, Marfu status or uh, Mansub status. I hope this has been clear so far. Um, again, anyone who has questions, put them in the chat and we will try to get to them, inshallah. Um, if not now, then later on in the revision class. So, Dawood is marfu status, status, so that is the sign, uh, or that is a sign that it's the external fa'il. Uh, Jalut is the object, and it answers who was killed. So Dawood killed someone, who did he kill? He killed Jalut. That's maful bihi. It's in the mansub state with fatha, and it answers who. Uh, the second one, Shariba Zaydun al Kahwa. Zayd drank the coffee. Zayd is in the marfu status um, because of the Dhamma, as you can see. So that means it's the Fa'il, or it's a sign that it's the Fa'il. And Kahwa is the thing that was acted upon. In this case, it ends in a Fatah, it's in the Mansub status, and it answers the question, what? So they drank water. They drank. What did they drink? He drank kahwa. He drank coffee. So these are the two examples um, for maful bihi. Maful bihi. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out for now. Okay. The next bit is a bit heavy. Now, before we go into the next bit. I want everyone to be to make sure they are clear. And if they aren't clear, um, they need to ask someone, they need to put their hands up, they need to not be shy. Again, remember the, the people that don't learn are the ones that are arrogant or the ones that are shy. And we don't want to be either of them. So if you do have a question or if it's not clear, then please come forward um, the main takeaways from this at the moment is Jumla uh, Fi'liya starts with a uh, Fi'il, it starts with a verb and, and it has three components Fi'il, Fa'il and Maf'ul that is the main thing from lesson 21 I believe 21 yeah um so if you have that in your notebooks, then it's fine. If you have that written down. Yes. Uh, very well explained by Brother Fazlul. Sonia, can you explain a bit more about the fa'il? Okay. So here. Fa'il, 
So in terms of external and internal, we'll come. There's, there's going to be lessons dedicated to that. Um, but you can have uh, an example where. Okay, so the word katala, katala, it means he killed. So within that word, just that singular word, covers two words in English, he and killed. So he is also the subject. But in this case, what happens, there's an external fa'il, fa which is Dawood. It replaces the he with, that is built in within the qatala. So if you look at all of the words, the root words, shariba, qatala, fa'ala, it's always masculine and past tense. So he did, he drunk, he swam, he studied. It includes the word he. Okay, and that is the fa'il. So all, all of the verbs, they include they have a built-in hidden fa'il. And then there's certain circumstances when you have an external fa'il. So qatala by itself is kind of a sentence. He killed. It's, it's, it's quite, it, it has a meaning, he killed. Um, but there's certain circumstances, which we'll cover later, when you have an external file such as this, where you have the name or you have the actual uh, person who did the action. So, qatala dawudu. Now dawudu is the file. It's, it's exposed, it's external. Um, apart from that, and the fact that the file is in the marfu state, that's all you need to know for now. Can you explain on fi'il and the difference between fi'il and fa'il? Fi'il is the verb. So fi'il is the actual verb, and fa'il is the one who does the, the action. So we have... And for the um, for the fi'il, qatala, and we have the fa'il in, in this? Yeah, so all, every, every verb that you will see, it will have a hidden dua. So the simplest of the verbs, like fa'ala, it means he did. So it includes the word yeah. he, which is the subject, and did the action he did. So um, uh, shariba, he drank. Shariba means he drank. So it includes the subject, who did the action, he, and the action itself, which is drinking. Uh, in the past tense. So that's the uh, fi'il is uh, the verb, the action, and fa'il is the doer of the action. And then maf'ul is the one who is who it's being done to or what is being done to it. Okay. I don't want to keep going into it because it is a simple concept. As in, uh, as in, I don't want to overcomplicate it. This is all you need at the moment. Fi'il, fa'il, maf'ul, the action, the doer of the action and the one that it's being done to. If you got those three, you're okay. Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, um, or before I move on, Ustaz Sadiq, do you want to clarify anything or include anything? Um, I'll just mention a couple of things. First of all, as um, for this lesson, as Ustaz Hamza said, first point was that the fi'il has a if you don't mind scrolling up a little bit you have the you know most words are three letters <clears throat> you know the uh, fa'ala is what it's uh, based on and Uzra Hamza mentioned the first kalima the fa the, we refer to the first kalima if you look at qatala for example the first letter here qaf we refer to in a grammatical sense as the fa kalima so when we are talking about that when we talk about the fa kalima, we're talking about the first one. Um, and that fa'ala construct is important for you to remember the first letter and the last letter, the um, fa kalima and the lam kalima, they're constant, i.e. they do not change. Um, whereas the ain kalima, the middle one, and if you look at the word qatala, that's ta, so the ain kalima, it's variant. So that's something you have to remember. And the reason we're... Um, emphasizing on this so it can be easier for you to recognize verbs 
and you know, as Ustad Hamza mentioned, this is where we're talking about jumlat of fa'liyah. And if you don't recognize a verb, you're going to struggle to identify if it's a jumlat of fa'liyah. Now, mm -hmm. the second point I'd like to mention is again what uh, Ustad Hamza mentioned is um, what we expect a typical jumlat of fa'liyah to look like. So we have the fa'il, the fa'il, and the maf'ul. So please remember that. So try to memorize that. Uh, you know, this again, it's only a basic stage, but if you understand this, then it'll make your life easier. If you do not un understand this, you will struggle throughout the rest of the mm -hmm. of module one. So this is extremely important. Okay, um, thank you. Yeah, so I just want to uh, clarify, uh, just, if you don't mind, uh, Ustaz Hamza, yeah, uh, yeah. I think few people are getting confused with the fi'l and the fa'il. As Ustaz Hamza mentioned, fi'l is uh, the verb, action. So qatala is the example. Um, and what you should look for if you see a fi'l, you're expecting to see a fa'il. Um, and this is where i'rab is important. The word, so qatala, then you have the fa'il, which is Dawood, as we've got here in, on, on the screen. Dawood is the fa'il. So as soon as we see a fa'il, we're expecting a fa'il. And the way recognized it's an, it's an external fa'il is it's, has the, it's in the state of um, rafa, i.e. here represented by a dhamma. Not always, but uh, you know, usually we have a dhamma. So we know here we've got a, a fa'il. Um, if not, then we can assume that uh, it's built in. Like as uh, Ustad Hamza said, Qatala has already built in or hidden fa'il, which is huwa, means he. So Qatala means he killed. It's already got a built in. But because we immediately we look at the word, word, word coming up, it's got Dhamma at the end, representing Marfo. So ah, Dawood. That must be the fa'il, external fa'il. So fa'il, fa'il, maf'ul. So that's what um, you need to remember for a jumlat al fa'liya. Ustaz, now. can an external file always come? Would it always come no. after a fa'il, external fa'il? It doesn't have to come. Uh, yeah, so it, can be, it can be just a fa'il with the built-in fa'il, and there is, it doesn't have to be an external fa'il, no. Maybe. And if they come, if the external file comes, how would they recognize? They should see, uh, they they should see rec it. recognize it by it being in a rough ass state, which usually is Dhamma. Dhamma. So in that sentence, next to the fail, or along the line within two, three, four words, if they see something which looks like ism, and it has in marfu state means it has got dhamma, then that is that could be external file, but be. external file will always not be there. But when they see a fail like qatala shariba, which means the file, hidden file, internal file, three names, okay, hidden file, internal file, built in file, and Arabic name. Fail mustatir means hidden. So, hua or here, if this is the hidden file, then there may be an external file. If it is, say, as some of you know already, say, faal ta. Faala, faala, faalu, faalat, faalata, faal ta. So, faala is hua. Hidden file, falat is here hidden <laughs> file, and in these two cases only, where hua and here is the file, then there may be an external file. This is what Ustad Hamza was saying, Brother Sadiq has repeated, and it is written clearly in this page. Can you see file and then two four bullet point? This is exactly. What is said. Mm -hmm. So Alhamdulillah, you know, it's it's clear. Uh, you need to you need to go through the video just in case if you are not sure, if you still didn't get it, uh, just go through this once, twice, three times, four times. This is easiest, one of the easiest chapter, inshallah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, 
Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking at the chat messages as well. Someone said, can a file come before a fail? Well, file is an ism, you need to know that. File is a noun, file, dua, subject is a noun, ism. If it comes in the beginning before the fail, that is no longer a verbal yeah. sentence. <laughs> I think Ustad yeah. Hamza, you know, said it nicely. Yes, when yes. and then Hua and Hia, if catalyzed mm -hmm. into building is um, Hia, I mean mm -hmm. Hua. So only these two would can take external file. The rest of them got built-in file. So if we remember, if it's mm -hmm. only Hua or Hia, and mm -hmm. I think not to confuse uh, too much, just basically these two, if we think yeah. them. Then the, the, it can take external files. Yes. Otherwise, and... the rest of them, for example, kata la, then kata la, and then kata luo, then it is it's already built in. So we know that. They are two okay. killed and they are all killed. If it's like that, then it's built in. So if yes. we all remember, it's only these two, who are in here, mm. the, the, then we look for outside and files. In the revision it's... class, the straight way uh, it will be uh, it will be shown many other examples like this in the Quran. So it will be yeah, all. Yeah, I think all. they have understood. You have understood this. Uh, yeah, no, no, that's fine. If so, anybody else still doesn't understand, please say so now. Otherwise, um, we may move. Yeah, move on, move on. Inshallah. for the clarification. Yeah, move on, move on, please. Yeah, um, please. so my my mouth. Uh, the batteries in my mouse that I use uh, run out, so I'm using the keyboard. So the Arabic is is very bad um, in in terms of writing. But this is an example where there is no external fa'il. So dahiba ila al masjid, he went to the masjid. It doesn't. There's no name afterwards. It's dahiba within the word dahiba. It means he went. So the subject is not external. He went to the masjid. Um, so that's an example, just when there is no external file. And then Qatala Dawudu Jaluta is an example when there is an external file. Okay, Bismillah. Um, so yeah, sorry about this. <laughs> about I thought it was Ustad Big Ustad writing. <laughs> no, yeah. It's uh, the, the, the mouse, the, I need to change the batteries. Yeah, Mashallah, you got a very good example, Ustad. Yeah, oh, there, yeah, yeah. You showed the difference between um, internet. Yeah, okay. That's good. okay, so now it's going to go a little bit deeper. Um, I want to warn you. Um, write down these examples, and I would say do it in a kind of table format, and you'll see what I mean in a second, mm -hmm. inshallah. So, if you don't mind zooming in again, please. Yeah, yeah. So, we had Jumlatul Ismiya, where we had usually we looked at two nouns together. So we looked at uh, Zayd Tawilun. So Zayd is tall or um, Allahu Ghafurun. Allah is the uh, most forgiving. So we, we had two nouns together and that was a that was a nominal sentence. But you can also have a nominal sentence that includes a verb as well. So it starts with a noun so it's a jumlat al ismiya but there's also a verb within the sentence, and that's what we're looking at right here. So an example is a jumlat al ismiya but it also has a verb included in the sentence. And then we're going to look into a um, in the opposite way, and again, you'll see that in a second. So jumlat al ismiya the sentence that starts with a noun. Uh, this starts with a noun, an ism, which is called the Mubtada. So you have the Mubtada, um, like Ustad uh, uh, Dr. Mahmoud said, that if the fa'il comes first, the fa'il is the subject, so it would be an ism. Um, and that would be the Mubtada as well. So this is where the properties of nouns are important. When the Mubtada comes first, Oh, sorry, if the mubdata is dual or plural, then the verb afterwards must match the number. It also has to be in dual form or plural form. 
So here we have, um, and I'm going to zoom in even more. So here we have a sentence. At-tulabu dhahabu ilal mal'ab, to the stadium or the place of play. So the students, this is the mubtada and it comes first. The verb that comes after a jumlat al-ismiya, in the jumlat al-ismiya, it must match. It's not the haba. It's because this is plural, then the verb also has to be plural. At-tulabu, dhahabu. And this is a rule. So in a jumlat al-ismiya, when the verb comes after the mubtada, it has to match in its number. Okay? And that is something that you have to write this rule down and you have to give an example. So I would just pick this. At-tulabu, dhahabu. It has to match. The second rule is gender. It has to match in gender. So if there's two female students, then the word for went, the, the word for going, the fi'il, also has to be in the feminine version. So the habta. You can see it here. It has to be in the feminine form. To the restaurant. So when the verb comes second after a noun, after the mubtada, it has to match in both plural, uh, in both number and gender. Okay. Um, now we are going to look at when the fi'l is first, when it's now a jumlat and fi'liya, the rules change. In the verbal sentence that starts with a verb, the rule is slightly different, um, which an example is here. Dhahaba at-tulabu. The students went. So in this case, it doesn't match in number anymore. Because dhahaba is singular. Dhahaba is singular. But tulabu is plural. So when the verb comes first, the noun that comes after doesn't match. Um, here tulabu is plural and dhahaba is singular. Dhahaba, tulabu. And both of them are masculine. And we're going to see why now. Why does it have to be like that? Dhahabu means they went. So dhahabu here means they went. Every verb you see has a hidden subject within it. Every verb. Madi, um, mudari. It has a hidden verb in it. So it's he did, she did, they did, those two did. You know, all of the, that whole list of uh, um, of pronouns, subject pronouns that we went through, who are whom are whom, etc. They're all within the verb. So every verb has a hidden subject. And if we say, ذَحَبُوا أَتُّلَابُوا, it means they, the student. Because within ذَحَبُوا, you already have the word they. So it's like saying in English, they, the students, went. You're, you're doubling the muqtada. You've got two, you've got two fa'as, two doers. And we don't have that in Arabic. This is not correct because there cannot be two fa'as for a verb. Remember we learned earlier that if the hidden dua is huwa or hiya, i.e. singular, uh, hiya or uh, he or she, only then you can have an external fa'il. So it only works with huwa. So dhahabu, you can't now have an external fa'il, fa'il of ad-tulabu. Okay, it can't replace the, it can't replace the hidden file. Now again, this, you're going to process it and you're going to have to watch the video. And you, I, I would say uh, when you're practicing to write out the three different versions. So you have Jumlat al-Ismiya with just two nouns. Then you have Jumlat al-Ismiya with a noun and a verb. And then you have Jumlat al-Fi'liya with a verb and a noun. And then it will become clearer if you do it in that kind of table format. 
um, it, it will become clear to you, inshallah. So we can say, At-Tulabu Dhahabu. At-Tulabu Dhahabu. Hey, Tulabu is the Mubtada. And it just works. And this is just because the Arabs did it like that. And this sentence, Dhahabu, they went, is the Khabar. So you have Mubtada and Khabar. And the number, uh, numbers and genders are matching. Um, the same also applies to a third person feminine. So al banatu dhabna, or uh, which is this one on the on the right, or dhabat al banatu, the girls went. So third person feminine uh, can also be done. So here's a here's like a smaller table. Um, here are also the numbers and genders are matching. Remember the four, following. At-Tulabu, Dhahabu, Dhahaba, At-Tulabu. So the, here is a jumla al ismiya And the gender and the number has to match. And here, when it's jumla al fi'liya the number doesn't match. Dhahaba, At-Tulabu. The number doesn't match, but the gender does match. So we can see it on the left side with the female version. Uh, At-Talibatu Dhahabna At-Talibatu Dhahabna And Dhahabat At-Talibatu Okay, so they match in gender and number um, So sorry. They match in gender in the bottom And they match in gender and number in the top Jumlatil Ismiya If you make a table with these This kind of table here It, it should become clear And do different examples um, and inshallah, watch the videos again and it will become more clear. Let's have a look at the uh, messages. Um, okay, no new messages at the moment. That's fine. Okay. So I want to zoom out on this just so you can see um, the main takeaways from this to summarize. Okay, so here, rule number one, in a jumlat al-ismiya, jumlat al-ismiya, you have to match in number. Also in a jumlat al-ismiya, you have to match in number. In a jumlat al-fi'liya, you only match in, in gender. That's it. You only so jumla til ismiya. You only match in gender. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. We put that on mute. We put that on mute. Is it muted? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, okay. So now we're going to go into more in depth in the fa'il in the verbal sentence. Okay. So the use of fa'il in the jumlat al fi'liya, i.e., when the sentence starts with a verb. Let us remind that a jumlat al fi'liya starts with a verb and it's two essential components. The reason why it says two essential is because remember, it doesn't always have to have a maf'ul. The essential parts are fi'il and fa'il. Maf'ul can be there. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there. Okay. The fa'il is the dua. Fa'il. The fa'il can be external or it can be hidden. So they're always hidden. And then there's two cases where it can be external. When it's hua and here. If the external fa'il does exist, it must, uh, and is any number, the opening verb must always be singular. So it can, you, the first verb has to be singular, feminine or masculine, hua or here. It's basically saying, saying the same thing. Hua is singular, it's mufrad, uh, masculine, and here is mufrad, feminine. So when there's an external uh, fa'il, 
the verb before it has to be mufrad, it has to be singular, and the gender must match. But the number doesn't need to match. So more examples here. Kataba al muallimani ismayhima. The two teachers wrote their names. So kataba, kataba is singular. Um and al muallimani is plural, dual, jew, jewel, sorry. Okay. If the external file doesn't exist, then the verb will take its form as required. So here we have a good example. Sami o. So we know because it's not huwa or here, it's not singular. Yeah, sami o. It's not it's not mufrad. It's a jam. It can't have an external file. And what does that mean? The adhan, sami o al adhan, the adhan doesn't do anything. The adhan isn't something that does an action. So this sentence reads, they heard the call to prayer. So al adhana is the maf'ul. And within sami'u, you have the fa'il, you have the du'a, which is a plural, uh, and you have the fi'il, which is uh, sami'a, which is to hear. So they heard the adhan. There's no external fa'il. The fa'il is within these words, sami'u. Is that clear for everyone? If you if you understand that, then you've understood everything above uh, subconsciously. Okay, so if this is clear, sami'u al adana, the adhan can't do any. It's it's not it's not an act. It's not a fa'il because it's the adhan. It doesn't do anything. Um, it's the maf'ul. It ends in a fatha. And it's what was heard from the people who did do something in Samir. Inshallah, this, this, these two words should clear everything above it up. Um, let's see. It will be applied only for the uh, for the azan or an, another issue. No, no, no. So, so any, uh, so um, any, so. Here we have the verb sami'u, it's, it's either dual or it's plural, right? So then there can't be an yeah. external fa'il. There can't be a name after that, or there, there can't be a, a dua after that. So the dua is built in into the verb, he or they, uh, dual or they, plural, heard. And then it can be anything. It's not specific to the adhan, it's just uh, an example. So the next one, wadahabu ila al-masjid. So the one that I used earlier. Dhahabu ila al-masjid. Within dhahabu, you have the subject, they. They went. So after it, it says ila al-masjid. So ila al-masjid is not the external file. Like the, to the masjid didn't do the action of going. Is that is that clear? No, I don't think it's clear. I can't get it. Uh, sister, okay. have you I'll... memorized the according um, list? Yes, I yes, I memorize it. So what was that saying here? It's a plural. It's home. Samiru, they had, and uh, he said earlier only hua and here can take external file, but. When we have yes. the built-in file, this doesn't take. Yes. It doesn't need to take. Remember, we this is um file and file, and al azana is the mafu. Sorry, um, uh, the the uh, you know, it's not mafu. Yeah, mafu. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is mafu. Yeah. yeah. So the main thing is whenever we have a plural, uh, apart from here and hua, there always is a built-in file. So we have to ha have that in our mind. If it was um, singular, then we would have um, looked for an outside file. But when it's a built-in file, plural, a dual, then it is always built-in. And we, we, you know, it's here. Uh, I'll, 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 uh, thank you. That I, I think that helps. I'm going to give you a question. What does... Dhahabu ila al-masjid mean? They, they went to masjid. 
they went to the masjid. So the subject is they. Qatala Dawudu Jaluta. What does that mean? Qatala Dawudu Jaluta. Okay. But in the first in, in this sentence, Dahabu ila al Masjid, you can't see the word they. It's it's mm -hmm. it, it's hidden, hidden in the verb. But in yeah. the first example it says Qatala Dawudu. So you can see the one who did it. It's, it's, it's visible. That's that's what we mean by external. It's outside of the verb. It's it's like in its own entity outside of the mm -hmm. verb, mm -hmm. and, and that's all it is. It's it's not. I, I'm probably making it more complicated than what it actually is, but that's it. So <coughs> sometimes you can have the verb out. You can have the subject outside of the verb, but the rest of the time the subject is within the verb. That's the, the, that's it in a simple verb. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you compare those two sentences and ask yourself who is the fa'il then that's how it becomes clear. Okay. And now, why we don't say the haba il al-masjidi? Why we don't say it or? The haba il al-masjidi. Then, the the meaning, then, the, then meaning, the meaning will change to he, he went. He went. But you wanted to say they went, the habu. Yeah. Okay. But but Jumla uh, Filia, it, uh, it match only in gender. That's it. That's right. Or jumlatul filia. Yeah, jumlatul filia. Yes, it match only for the uh, when if we start with the verbal. Okay. Okay. Word. That, it match no, only with. With with gender. It match okay. only. Yeah. Um. Okay. That is when it's singular and you have an external file. So when, when you have an external fa'il mm -hmm. and it's singular, then it matches in gender only. So if you look here okay. in, in this bit above, if an external fa'il exists, then it must match in gender. Yeah, okay. it, it doesn't match in number, but it must match in, in, in gender. gender. When there isn't yeah. an external fa'il, then you don't have to worry about that. It, it, there's no gender, number, anything. It's, you mm -hmm. have the fa'il and then you have the mafud bihi. You don't have to match the mah. It's not like two masjids. Uh, they went to two masjids or anything like that. So that only that matching gender in a jumla to fida only counts when there's an external file. Is that clear? Does does that help? Is that is that okay? Yes. Okay. 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 Bismillah. Um, so. Again, more examples um, in the Madi form and the Mudari form. Kharaja al Muslimu. Kharaja al Muslimu. Kharajati al Muslimu. Actually, I'll stick with the, um, uh, the male side. So, Kharaja al Muslimu. Kharaja al Muslimani. And Kharaja al Muslimuna. Okay. Mm -hmm. In all, in, in all three of these, yeah. the meaning is different uh, and the verb is the same as singular. So the first one, one Muslim left or he went, he, he left, he, he exited. In the second one, two Muslims exited. In the third one, three Muslims exited. Kharaja means he, he left, yeah? Is that okay for the first three? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kharaja al-Muslimu, Kharaja al-Muslimani, Kharaja <coughs> al-Muslimuna. Singular, dual, and plural. Um, what is the status of all of them? What's the status of all of them for these three? Kharaja, Kharaja. Rafa, Rafa status for all three of them. Yes. Uh, not you, Asad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the status for all of them is marfu, right? And this is where you have to go back to the Muslim chart. The status is marfu, okay? And if the status is marfu. 
and the verb is singular, then most likely the second word, the noun afterwards, is going to be an external file. So these are all external files for kharaja. Okay. The Muslims went. It's not he went. It's the Muslim went. If it was just kharaja, it means he went or he, he exited. Yeah. But mm -hmm. because a Muslim is there, the external file comes. So the external file takes over the word he. It, it replaces the word he. The Muslim went. The two Muslims went. The three Muslims went or more than that. Yeah. And then you have the same for the fem females. Kharajati, uh, kharajati, kharajati, muslimatun, and muslimatani, and muslimatun. Same thing, marfu status, feminine version. But kharajat, kharajati, kharajati, kharajati is singular. So same thing, this is the hiya version. And then Muslim, Muslimatu, Muslimatani, Muslimatu are marfu status. So instead of she left or she exited, it becomes the fem the female Muslim left. The two female Muslims left. The three or more female Muslims left. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Jumlatil Fitliya. And this is an external file. So someone said uh, rafa status instead of marfu status. Is that wrong? Rafa, rafa and marfu are the same. Are the same, yes. It's just a shorter uh, yeah. for all of you. So you can either say rafa status or marfu status. Okay? Yes. Rafa or marfu. Good, so they are the same. Um, you have the Mudari version here. Um, I just want to check something. Okay, yeah, we can. Madari version is the same thing, but it's the future uh, or present tense. So, Yahruju al Muslimu, Yahruju al Muslimani, Yahruju al Muslimuna. Um, someone tell me what this means. Yahruju al Muslimu. What does that mean? He's, he's going to leave or he will. The Muslim will. Yeah. Not, he. not he exactly so if it was just yakhruju it would mean he is leaving but because there's an external fa'il there's something that's taking over the word he it becomes the muslim is leaving <coughs> yeah that's right yeah that's what happens so the the next word takes over the hidden uh, inbuilt fa'il uh, so uh, what is the hidden file here? Hua. 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 And Kharajat. Kharajat. What is the hidden file here? Here. Kharajat. Hua. Here. So only if the hidden file is only Hua or only here, then an external file might come. Yeah. And very likely to come. That is the take you are here. Yeah. Everything else, leave it on the side. Okay, because this is you need. <laughs> Don't forget this. And the other so, thing is that said that when it is Jumlatul Ismia, Isum came first, file came first, it will match number and gender. The two rules in Jumlatul Ismia, file has to match. But when it is failure, mm -hmm. like file came first, then what does it need to match? Number? Yes or no? Yes. No. Number in Jumlatu failure, fail coming first, does the number need to match? No. Only oh. gender. No, only gender. So the sister who said yes, she was not sure. Is it okay to you? We will never forget this. These points. These are absolute takeaway. Going home with these few points. And so, what is external file? External file is Muslim al al Muslimu. This is external. You know the meaning of external. 
and the who are hidden is internal file. Uh, can you see my cursor or not? Probably not. No, you can't. Okay. You can, Hamza, can you bring the cursor under Kharaja? Kharaja and Muslim, please. Al sister, simple. I appreciate the question. Kharaja has got a fail here, and that fail is called hidden fail. I'm sorry, file, file. That this fail has got a hidden file, and that is what? Mm -hmm. You know that, sister, right? Yes. That yes. is internal file. It can be called hidden file. It can be built-in file. Okay. Built -in. Same thing. So hua. So hua is the file there. So it's internal file. And there may be an external file outside that file, that, that field. It's a common sense. External file. You understand now external file? al muslimu Ja'a Muhammadun. Ja'a means he came. He means wa here. He came. Ja'a. Then Muhammadun. <laughs> Muhammadun is an external file. And wa is internal file. What external file does, it takes over the internal file. It replaces the internal file in the meaning. Simple. Everybody understand that? <laughs> Sure. Everyone, inshallah, <laughs> these points. Sure. You know, he, 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 the way he did it, I cannot do anything better. I can only repeat. Someone else can repeat. Mm -hmm. Mashallah, very well explained. It, excellent, simple. Your job yeah. is to concentrate. On one sitting, you will learn all these two, three chapters fully? Yeah. No. <laughs> I haven't done it. Many people can't do this. You have to do the work now. Teacher has told you, mashallah. Some people are asking questions for clarification. Brilliant. That's helpful. Okay. And these are so many few things only to take away. Hamza, first page, please. Uh, your, your, your teaching part is more or less concluded, Hamza, right? Our lessons? Um, let me. Uh... You shouldn't do any more lesson, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, in I'll in one sitting, part. yeah. Okay. So making sure the first page, if I could uh, summarize this, I wouldn't. Uh, okay, uh, my full. <laughs> okay, uh, when it is jumlatul filia, how do you identify jumlatul filia? What is the number one criteria? What what would you tell you? Tell me, please. The sentence uh, starts with the fail. Fail, a verb. Fail. If you see one single fail in the beginning of a sentence, that is jumlatul filia. Now, when you say Jumla Tulfilia, now everybody get alert. There are three components. Hide, hide it, please. Hide, 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 it. hide it. Okay? You can't go home tonight. Hide this, please. Change it. I, I, I want to. Okay, okay. I'll do it. Yeah, move the page. Oh, hide the <laughs> lesson. Not the last one, just, you know, uh, just bring something else because I wanted to talk about this. Yeah. Uh, share, share the screen, share with me. Then, no, that's fine. Or I could share, but it's okay, it's okay. No, Hamza, that's fine. That's fine. Stay on the, on the, on the, on the failure page. Okay, where was okay, that's fine, that's fine. Just stay there. Uh, the last part, hide it, please. <laughs> the three components. Oh, no, the three okay, components. stay there, stay there. Okay, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> You can't go home. You attended this class. You have to take this with you. Now answer my question. So what is the sign of a Jumla Tulfilia? Everybody said there has to be fail in the beginning. Yeah. Number two question. When you saw a fail, you have to now identify three components of Jumla Tulfilia. Uh, am I talking to Sister Lubna, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What are the three components of Joomla to failure? The fail, file, and maful. Mashallah. Mm -hmm. Can anybody else want to add anything? No, she's correct. No one wants to add anything, right? <laughs> it you is she's correct. <laughs> right. Yes, yes. You know, I was joking. Joking means. There is nothing to add, nothing more to add, more than three at this level. But when you mm -hmm. go to level three, sorry, level two, 
then Mutali will come. Okay, this is not relevant. I was just making sure that okay. all there are three components. Bear, file, mafur. Okay, so Hamza, next page, please. If there's anything, take away. Sorry, Hamza, I just stepped in. I no, no, no. It's, 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 there won't be much time for the um, bar list of time. There's only uh, 12 minutes. Okay, now. okay, okay. I will just finish, finish this. Uh, next page, Hamza. Um, now, well, stay here. Before you go home, external file, how does it look like? How would you identify? Who can tell me? External file. Um, here. Hmm? Yeah, Daoud is external file. Daoud is the external file here. Yeah. How do you identify? How would you identify? With the, with, the, with the status, it has the Mansub, uh, sorry, Rafa status. Mm -hmm. Rafa status means easy yeah. language uh, with Dhamma, okay? Dhamma. 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 Daoud. Clear. Zaidun. Okay, clear? Yes. Okay, now, now this one you need to take home with you. Fail foul ma fail file ma fool. They 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 go together. Not always, but most of the time. So ma fool is coming. Three words coming one after another. You need to know essential how the ma fool looks like. How would you how would you recognize that could be a ma fool? Ma fool will have nasab status. Fatha. Mansub or Nasab Mansub. or Fatha ending, correct? Fatha, Fatha. Yes. Fatha ending. Now, that's all in this first chapter. You need to identify fail. You need to identify the components of uh, failure. And you know how to how to identify the uh, file, external file, and Maful. Many students go one month, two months, three months doing this course and they can't identify maful. Would you be able to identify a maful, brothers and sisters, after this class, you tell me? Inshallah, yes. 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 Well, that's important. Okay, next page, Hamza, please. I mean, missing the next lesson. This, this chapter is done, well done, mashallah. Now here, simple, uh, Hamza has done it in the last, last page, Hamza. Hamza, you know, last page you got a chart. Uh, 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 this, this is the summary. Can you see the, everything in, the in 20 lines, 15 lines there? The last two lines here, this is the summary. Nominal sentence, can you see? Atualibu dahabu. Atualibu is plural, dahabu is plural. It means jumlatul ismiya will match number and gender. Can you see? Atulabu dahabu. Atulabatu dahabana. Can you see? One yes. number missing jumla to dismia. Then mm. next, you saw zahaba atulabu. Atulabu is plural, zahaba is singular. Both are male. Mashallah. Jumla to filia, uh, the, the, they don't need to meet the numbers, but they will match the gender. Can you see zahabat atulabatu? Both are feminine. And uh, yeah. zahabat is singular, atulabatu is plural. This is the summary. Mm -hmm. Everything else, forget it. I don't care. In Jumla to Lismia. So, no sentence will yeah. have the Jumla to Lismia, they, and the tense. Yeah, Muktada Khabar, they will match gender and number. In Jumla to Filia, they will only match gender, not yes. number. Alas, that's all. Will you remember, this... everybody, please? Jumla yeah. to if you don't to... remember, go through this <laughs> recording, even this class recording. Have another look. Should be all fine. And then keep make notes, as Hamza said, try to do some chart. Okay? The writing you do, that is going to record this in your brain, computer, forever. But if you don't do this, you are creating problem. Don't blame us, please. Okay, Hamza, next page, next page. Then, then I think all, all done. All done, Hamza. You do, uh, yeah, that's fine. These, these are all yeah, done. This is the same thing, yeah. They're all done. Mashallah, done. Now you do your bit. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. No, no, no. Alhamdulillah. It's, it's, it's perfect. Uh, as you said this, um, it's it's been taught um, and it will take time to uh, take in and, and absorb. But those three, four points that Ustad uh, Dr. Mahmoud 
mentioned, th that's all you need to know. Everything else, don't worry <laughs> about it. As long as you have those three, four things, you're okay for, for now. And <laughs> and in the next um, like 27, less than 28, 29, all of it is kind of ident identifying the external file, the internal file. So we'll, we'll get into that into more detail and more practice. Um, as long as you know the concept, then Alhamdulillah, you're, you're good. Okay. Vocabulary, um, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going to move on to vocabulary. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now and then I will reshare it in a second. Okay. Can somebody reply to uh, Brother Assad's message in the chat box, please? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna be mean today, and I'm gonna do the Star Sadiq's approach, where I'm not gonna show you the the uh, the noun list. Um, I'm just going to go through them and ask them. So we should be on page eight, page nine. Inshallah, we did prepositions last week. Um, okay. Page six, page seven. Okay. Um, this page is some of the attributes of Allah. So, Bismillah. Awwala or awwal. What is awwal? First, first yeah. and first. The first. And akhir? Last. last. Yeah, the first and the last. Good. Okay. What does akhira mean? Or akhir? Other. Other. Akhir is other. Other. Akhir. Okay. And how, how, would you, how would you use this in a sentence? The other people? Yeah. So you if you say the other one or the other people, this is the akhir that it means. Akhir han. Akhir hu. Um, good. Uh, Amin? Trustworthy. Basir. Who sees everything? Yeah, the scene or the one who sees clearly. Clearly. Um, Baid. Fa. 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 Hakim. Uh, wisdom. 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 Yeah. Hakim. Hakim is wise. Wise. And wisdom. Yeah. Um, Adim. Adim. Supreme. Yeah, supreme. Aziz. Powerful. Mm. Oh. Mighty. Which one? Powerful, mighty. 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 mighty, mighty, yes. Uh, Qadir. Powerful. All powerful. Yeah, All powerful. Um, okay. Rahim. Merciful. 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 Okay. Rahman. Compassionate. Compassionate. What's what's the difference between the two, Rahman and Rahim? Rahim, who is showing you mercy, Allah is showing you mercy, and compassionate, He wants to give you mercy. <laughs> that's 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 a good answer. Yeah. That's yeah. a that's a good answer. Alhamdulillah. Um. Okay. Uh. Hafid. Hafid. Uh, protect protector. Protect. And that's where Hafid comes from. The yeah. protect the one who's memorized and protects the Quran in that way. Uh Tawabun. Tawab. Forgive, forgive, forgiving. Forgiving. Good. Um, Hamim. Boiling water or warm water. friend. Warm, warm friend. Yeah, so warm friend as in like a very close personal friend. Yeah. A very close friend. Um, okay. Shadid. Strong. Severe. Um, severe. Strong. Severe. Strong. No, no, no. 
So you can have a, a strong or severe punishment or uh, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, Aliyah. Uh, high exalted, highest, uh, high exalted. Good. So it can exalted. be both. So, it, so highness in terms of um, highness in terms of category, the, it, and highness in, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Allah is the most uh, highest exalted. Exactly. Um, what is the opposite of Baid? Uh, Baid. 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 Baid is far and Qarib is near. Yeah. Um, what is the opposite of Sagir? Sagir and Kabir. Mm. Good. Kabir. Um, small and big. Um, Sari on. Sari. Sorry. 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 Yeah, Sari'un is fast, quick. Fast, oh yeah, swift, fast. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is it Sari'un or Sari'un? Yeah. Sari'un is fast. Yeah, okay. quick. Okay. Allah is Sari'un, Sari'un al-Hisab. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quick. Quick account. Quick, yeah. Swift, right? Swift. Swift, quick, fast, uh, like you just, like fast animals, you can say they're sari'an, they're sari'an, uh, like, like cheetahs and ghazal and um, okay. yeah, fast. Um, Latif. Uh, subtle, yes. most kind, kind. Okay. What does, what, what, what does it mean by subtle or kind in this context? Kind of such a like Allah is subtle, He won't uh, expose your sins. If does that make sense? Like mm, uh, the no. spelling of Hamza, spelling of the word is S U B T L E. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Subtle. subtle. Okay. Subtle. Get the right meaning here. Yeah. So so, that's so far we haven't got the right meaning. Although yeah. you can call it subtle, but it's subtle. What does it mean? Uh, can anybody is say it, this correctly? The B the, the, the the is silent, uh, Dr. Subtle. Mahmoud. It's subtle. Subtle. It's subtle okay, is, but listen. Um... Subtle is <laughs> minute, tiny thing he saw, he can understand. Yes. Yeah. Minute, minute. It is, it is small. That's subtle, okay? Yeah. Obviously, there's that's, got other meanings. And, uh, and Imagine, that, comes, that comes with yeah. the kindness. So that comes with yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, subtle... You this, know, each like, name... Yeah. There, one second. Sorry, but, <laughs> like each, for example, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. There are so many expressions of that. But what are the differences between different names, between attributes of Allah? That is something a little bit more to know about it. Every name, for example, when you say Aziz, Aziz has got number, Aziz has got kindness and other elements here. Mm -hmm. But Aziz's main attribute, main uh, focus is on the strength, power. Okay? So every name has got one distinct identity mm -hmm. and subtle, again, is the minuteness of his knowledge about yeah. us. Minuteness, tiny, yeah, microscopic, that's why microscopic that's view of that. That's yeah, subtle. Attention, so, kind and all this, you know, this is additional. But so, without that, if you say it's kind and all this, then it's, yeah. we're not learning right. But so, it's not fault of anybody. Uh, sorry, brother, I said you talk any minute. Uh, it's not fault of anybody. This is how all this dictionary and other books they write the meaning. What can you do? But actually, yeah. this is more than that. Yeah. I think, something. Yeah, I think to make it easier, subtle, the meaning they have for subtle, uh, oh sorry, Latif here is not actually subtle. When you talk about Allah, mm -hmm. you say Latif, you will find only in the Quran it's mentioned a few times. And one of the many times it's mentioned is Latif al Khabir. Yeah, yeah. Latif al Khabir, he knows where he might be. So I think, I think instead of saying subtle, we should say Latif means precise because it's always followed by another ism. 
Yeah. 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 No, that's what they say. Let's look at the precise now. And, 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 and that's what precise is. That's the what the subtlety is. Yeah. Precise. What does it play, mean? Precise. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be fine and delicate as well. Yes. Mm. Very fine, like no. what you said, minor. Yeah, yeah, it's very fine. fine. And that's very a minor. Fine thing. and it's a delicateness. Mm. Hey, can you see, I, I said, Hamza? Yeah. That's what's yeah. coming. That minuteness, delicate, oh, yeah. clarity, yeah. precision, precision. That's you know what precision attention to detail. Is. Yeah. Latiful Khabir would mean he knows the smallest details, the minutest yeah, yeah. details. Yeah, minute details. Yeah. Yeah. He knows the smallest details. So yeah. now come to the word Latif. Yeah. You're taking home this meaning with you yeah. that if Allah is has the ability to know absolute atomic size of anything we do, yeah, even a little bit. The minuteness, precision. That's that's lucky. Okay, fine. Okay. 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 We are running out of time. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh. Okay. Alhamdulillah. So, any questions, inshallah? Um. Again, you don't have to wait to the revision class. You can ask in the WhatsApp chat. Um. Mm -hmm. Try to try to do so. You have your list of takeaways from the lessons. And try to make that chart so you just understand the, the three differences. Jumlatul uh, ismiya when there's two nouns only. Jumlatul ismiya when there's a noun and then a verb. And then Jumlatul fi'liya when there's a verb. And then within Jumlatul fi'l go into does it have external or does it not? And what are the three components? The fa'il fi'il and the Um And with that... I will finish. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wal-asr. Inna al-insana la fi khusr. Illa al-ladhina amanu wa amilu al-salihati. Wa tuwasu bil-haqqi. Wa tuwasu bil-sabah. Jazakallah khayyar. Barakallah. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum as-salam.